You are an ancient mathematician trying to figure out the circumference of a wheel. You can't really use a ruler, and measuring tapes do not exist yet. So, what do you do? A good solution would be to roll the wheel for one full revolution and measure the distance it has traveled. Great, you solved it! You are on a roll. And now, you want to do the same with another sized wheel. But wait, there's already a smaller circle inside the larger wheel. This smaller circle seems to actually have traveled the same distance. Clearly this can't be right. We can see with our bare eyes that the smaller circle must have a smaller circumference. So what is going on here? This is actually a paradox called Aristotle's wheel, and it tortured mathematicians for centuries. A lot of heavy hitters dealt with it throughout history. Galileo came up with his own solution to the paradox. Cleverly, he started with a simpler shape than a circle. Instead, he used two hexagons. Mapping out their movement, he noticed spaces in the traceout of the smaller hexagon. He then imagined that a circle is just a polygon with an infinite number of sides. He therefore concludes that the wheel must contain an infinite number of spaces or voids. This actually led him to believe that matter is composed of atoms. As we know today, matter does in fact consist of atoms, but he was not right about Aristotle's wheel. The solution to the paradox is actually quite simple. We can visually see it if we trace out the path of a single point on each of the circles. The larger circle traces out a cycloid, but the smaller circle traces out a kind of stretched out version of the cycloid. We therefore come to the conclusion that the smaller circle is actually skipping. In other words, it is being dragged along by the movement of the larger circle, which causes it to still travel the same distance horizontally. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.